Congratulations, Pete. Finger off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
That makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to hitchhike home, but I'll be able to get... <laughs> I'll, I'll drive you home. <laughs> wow, what a gorgeous. You guys want to try this? You want to try it? I'm good. I'm good. You don't That's come in my restaurant and don't eat. Well, I'm going to eat out there. Okay. Right. Thank you. Let me just get a shot of you holding two of them for me. Endorsement? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds disgusting. It's actually really tasty. What is it? What is it? Wisconsin cheese? Yeah. Wisconsin cheese curds. Yep. The best cheese curds squeak when you bite into them. And, and regular gravy. Yeah, brown gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Still fresh. Do this is becoming all the rage for the tea. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. they just opened it up. I don't have to do it. I just stand there and go down. <laughs> so we'll do the interview by the peak. So first of all, did, did the restaurant turn out exactly the way you wanted it? We're still working. We're still busting. Uh, it's a little uh, nicks we got to fix up, but uh, I'm happy with it. So, you know, I was in this business when I was in Florida. I had a couple of sports in Florida. I really like the people business. And what I like about this place, Rob, is a couple of things. Uh, David Wool, my partner, He's ticklish about quality, which we have here in the food, and he's real ticklish about service, which we really try to give the people good service. Because as you know, you live here, there's a lot of nice restaurants to come to. However, there's not many places you can come and watch sports. I know the sports and race books, you know, all have finger food and stuff like that, but we have we have courses you can sit and enjoy whatever sporting event you're watching and have a nice meal and take your time. Now you seem to know your way around the kitchen in there. Are you a chef? Well, yeah, well when I was in my restaurants in Florida, my brother was the head chef. So I was always back there yelling at him. You know, I can't cook, but I know that, I know what they're supposed to do based on the ingredient of the, the item that they're fixing. But Brian's great, the chef back there. And, you know, I never could understand. Maybe you can help me out with this. All the years I've been working here, nine, nine and a half years, I never could quite understand why no celebrity ever had his name on a restaurant. Most of the celebrities that had their names on a restaurant were chefs, except Jimmy Buffett and Margaritaville. And I said to myself, well, you know, I got to eat dinner every night if I get off work at 4.30. Now I can just come right here every night from 5 to 7, 5 to 7.30, give us with the people, have a nice uh, dinner, watch whatever sporting event I want to watch, go home, get up the next day. I live right behind Aria. I live five minutes from here. I can walk home when I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> now, whose idea was it to come up with these three special dishes from Montreal, Philadelphia, well, because I and played Chicago. in those three towns, and everybody knows whenever you talk about Philadelphia, you talk about Philadelphia steak and cheese. And whenever you talk about uh, Cincinnati, it's all about chili. We were raised on chili. We were raised on ribs. We got great ribs there too. From the three-way, the four-way, the five-way, and of course Montreal. You test it. You taste it. The Montreal potatoes and the gravy and the cheese. That's what they do up there. So uh, you know the Canadians love their cheese. And we put a lot of cheese on that island. Is this going to be the first of many? Do you hope? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm for it. I had two in Florida. You know, you just uh, if you're going to have more than one or two or three, people have to understand you can only be at one place at one time. But uh, I just, I just love this business. You know, it's just like I, I love signing autographs. Uh, to me, this is like coming here for two hours. I'm going to the ballpark to play a game. I just don't get any at bats. But I get to talk. So people aren't going to come in here and talk to me about the stock market. They're going to talk about baseball, especially now with the playoffs. Uh, over the horizon, the World Series is coming up. Then we'll focus on football. Then the NBA is starting. College basketball is starting. The beat just keeps going on in this town. More in this town than perhaps any other town in the world. This is the only town where my gig works. When I say my gig, <laughs> I'm talking about sitting somewhere for four and a half hours, uh, 20 days a month to sign an autographs. Because as you know, every three days or four days, thousands of people come in, thousands of people leave. Thousands of people come in, and what do they do when they come in? They all want to have a good experience, they all got money to spend, they all want to
want to see a celebrity. I hope I'm a celebrity. That's why so you many, are. That's why so many uh, impersonators work in this town. Everybody wants to see Elvis walk by. And our patio out there with the chairs is sitting, and you know this as well as I, this is the best people watching town in the world. And you can sit right on my patio and watch it for 20 hours. You can sit on your patio and you can eat from the kitchen that you've supervised. And we got 32 different kinds of beers. Now my recommendation, if anybody comes in, try one of each, but don't drive home. Walk home, okay? I love it. Perfect. Thank you. All right, well, sorry. Great. Thanks. Great. You're welcome. Any time. There you go. Okay.